Hello fellow writers, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Michelle Winkler and I'm an indie author in training. On my video, on my channel, <laughs> I post videos about my self-publishing journey and share the mistakes I've made, so hopefully you don't have to make them too. So I was looking through my stats on my channel and everything's good, oh cool. Bam, what happened? Apparently there was a big demand for Scrivener videos. <laughs> I had no idea. Let me know in the comments what you want me to focus on. I'm going to be doing a little series maybe if you want it, if there's some demand for it. And there'll be shorter videos than the last one. It was like 20 minutes long. Check that video out if you've never seen Scrivener before. Today we're going to focus on outlining. Now there are about as many ways to outline as there are writers. So the two ways I'm going to show you to outline today, both with Scrivener, one is really ba basic bare bones. I just want to write what's happening in each scene and move on. The second way is more structured. Like say you want to use Save the Cat or you want to use the Hero's Journey or some kind of structure. So I'm going to hop on the computer and I'm going to show you those two. And if you stay through to the end, I will show you how you can download the template I use for my book. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to break this into two sections. The first one's going to be if you just want a really basic outline. You don't want a lot of structure, you just want to be able to write a scene, go to the next scene, and move on. Um, for that, you would want either the blank template, which is right here, or the fiction novel template, which is right here. And I'll show you what those look like really quick. Oh, I didn't open them. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I need to just open all these and make it easier. Fiction novel. Oh, why are you so big? So the blank one will look like this. Where is it? Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so your blank project, when you open it, I think there's only one card when you first open it. This might be one I added when I was messing with it. It just has your draft bind, your draft folder and your text document. And this is really easy. Once you click on it, you can just type what happens and then do another one. Right click, add new text other thing happened. I think you can also do control N. Ooh. Well, it does add one, but it goes out of your corkboard view. That's fine though. And then you can just type this and it types in the title and then you can do whatever. And then you can always go back to draft and show your corkboard view. I think to do the control N, you just click on the corkboard control N. Yep. And that adds a new one. Fiction novel template is really similar. It's really similar except it adds in some extra things. For one, you have chapter folders and then scene documents underneath them, which is fine. You can just, um, but it's, if you, if you're thinking ahead to how you want to do your writing as opposed to your outlining and you want to have all the folders already in position, this might be a good one. Also, if you're not really familiar with Scrivener, this might be good because it has instructions on how to use the template and how to compile up in this first document here. It also has your front matter already in there. It has characters and places, things like that. So if you're building your own template and you know you're going to want all this extra material for your um, for writing your novel, you can always start with this one. It already has the folder structure in place. Now we'll look at a really detailed one. <laughs> detailed outline, that's what I call it. This is available from KM Whelan's website. I'll put a link in the description. Um, she not only has this super detailed structure for Scrivener, but she has a blog post on how to use it, how the different uh, sections fit together and what order to do them in and all that. There's also an instruction page right here. Um, at the top of the binder, which will tell you how to use it. I'm impressed by it. And if you're the kind of person who pretty much writes a novel during the outlining stage before they write the novel and has all the information to draw on, this would be great for you. Um, I look at this and I get way overwhelmed. So we're not going to use this one. <laughs> we're going to use a simpler one, but this is incredible. If I didn't get overwhelmed by this, I would use this one because everything's there. Everything you could possibly want to know is there. But like I said, I get overwhelmed really easy. So I made one kind of in between the basic and the super outlined. I made this one based on Save the Cat Writes a Novel, which is a book that I have somewhere. <laughs> and 
If you want to do your outlining with your story structure already in place or with prompts to help you remember what part of the story structure you should be working on, this, this kind of an outline would be great for you. So as you can see, I've already got all the cards and there's placeholder text for each of them. This, you just, this happened, happened, id. <laughs> and you just write your outline there. And then let's say, the reason I like this one is since it's already all structured out, if I get stuck on this, but I've got a great idea for some dialogue in the finale, I can go to the finale right now and type that in here. Or better yet, use the document notes, document notes, and place it down here. That way it's not really the outline because it's dialogue, it goes in the notes and I can add it in later. If this was in the folder structure that the basic one was in, I wouldn't be able to look at every single scene in the story all at once. It would be in different folders and I have to click on each one individually. I've done that before and it's a pain. <laughs> so once I get the outline totally done and I start writing, then I usually go through and organize it in the binder into different chapters. But for right now, I like to be able to look at all of it. And it makes it really easy to move. Like these cards are still here because I was messing with it before. <laughs> All I have to do to add a new card, like for, for fun and games section, this has several different scenes. Whereas like the catalyst is usually just one scene. That's why it's pink. I have labels right here. Single scene and multi scene. So let's say with this one with multiple scenes, I'm writing this happened here. And then I need to do another, a different scene. I can right click on the corkboard, add new text. And there it is. Once I fill that out, I can move it to wherever it belongs. So it makes it really easy to just see an overview. Um, if you, okay, this is kind of getting into how Scrivener works, but one thing I don't like about this is you can't, I don't think, oh, you can click and drag into the trash. I didn't know you could do that. You learn something new every day, right? Okay, so, <laughs> sorry, back to work. Um, another great thing is the status. Um, you'll see these are set up for actual writing time when I'm revising and editing, but done. You could use the done on these cards and you'll know when your outline is done because all the cards will have the pretty red done text across it. <laughs> but it's not done right now. So over on the left, we have the binder and I've added in a book info page at the top. So this is all the title and subtitle and all that kind of stuff. And two things I really like this for are theme because I have a hard time like coming up in the beginning with what theme I want to do because that's not really my focus. My focus is just to tell a story. But I love when books have a clear theme that you can tell after reading it. And so <laughs> I'll, I, ha I can put in here as I'm going along, ooh, that's a good theme that this book has and I can just write it in there so I know. And then log line or elevator pitch. If you've ever had anyone come up to you and say, oh, what's your book about? And you're stumped. <laughs> this can be really helpful from the beginning, from the time you start outlining, be thinking about that and just write whatever here. And as you go along, you go, oh, that's not a good one. And just, you can edit it as you go. That way, once you get that dialed in, you know that you like that log line, you like that explanation, memorize it word for word and then when someone comes up to you you'll already have it memorized and you can just tell them it makes it takes so much of the stress off of that question so down here i kept this is from the fiction novel template that i showed you earlier i just kept it because it's got like i said the compiling information and things like that but it's down here in the research everything on this line and below will not be in your compile between manuscript and research all this will be in your compile it, that's what will show up when you go to print your book so down here is just things for my notes main characters i also have series books i'm doing a trilogy right now so in here is the same kind of page and i can put whatever information down here i can put notes to remind myself of something that happened that i foreshadowed that i need to do in this book whatever can all go here so i believe that's it so i hope that was helpful i hope you got some ideas on how you want to outline so if you want to use the exact template i used for the second part of that video the structured part Sign up for my newsletter and you will not only get that, but you'll get a free copy of Keepsakes, my Dust on the Altar anthology, which has 10 short stories 
based on the characters for my debut novel. So go ahead and sign up for my newsletter, links in the description. If you like this channel, if you like the videos I'm making, please remember to click like on every one. It makes a big difference to me. And if you subscribe, it helps my channel grow. No pressure, just saying. I hope this has helped and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thank you.